Yudhishthira, despite winning the kingdom back after the great war at Kurukshetra, found no peace. He was consumed with guilt, feeling responsible for the deaths of his cousins and the kings who perished in battle. He blamed his desire for power, convinced that it led to the tragic war. Despite Krishna's comforting words reminding him of the injustice committed by the Kauravas and the role of fate, Yudhishthira remained in deep sorrow, especially of the death of Radheya, Karna. One day, Krishna revealed that Bhishma, lying on his bed of arrows, was thinking of him. He urged Yudhishthira to visit Bhishma, who was filled with wisdom and nearing the end of his life. The next morning, Yudhishthira and the Pandavas went to the battlefield where Bhishma lay. Yudhishthira, overwhelmed with guilt, confessed to Bhishma, calling himself a sinner. Bhishma, with kindness, reassured him. He explained that the war was inevitable and that Yudhishthira should not bear the burden of guilt. Bhishma praised Krishna's divine plan, explaining that Krishna was not just their cousin, but Narayana himself, guiding them through fate's trails. Krishna then requested Bhishma to teach Yudhishthira the art of ruling and dharma. For 54 days, Bhishma imparted his wisdom, preparing Yudhishthira for kinship. On the day of Uttarayana, Bhishma, ready to leave the world, looked at Krishna with gratitude. With Krishna by his side, Bhishma's soul departed, his final thought immersed in the Divine Presence.